Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another video. I hope you all, especially during this time, are safe, healthy, goatly, and I pray for all of you that things are going as good as they can during the circumstance that we are under. Um, I just want to reiterate that. And I, <laughs> as you can hear, my dog's coming. So this video I did a couple years ago. Can you say hi, Ezra? Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Um, did a video when I first moved in like two, three years ago. The pros and cons and ups and downs of living with guys. I have only since moving out of my parents' house lived with males. Ezra, hey, uh-uh, lived with males. And, uh, sorry, my dog trying to get into things he shouldn't be. Um, and... The last three-ish years we've lived here, excuse you, um, I live with four guys, you know, including, you know, including my fiance and our male dog, Ezra. So, I wanted to go over first, we'll go over the cons, because, you know, we want to save the best for last, the pros. Um, so I would say one of the first cons would be dishes. Um, it feels like I love them to death. First, I want to reiterate this. I love them to death. Best roommates ever. Love them, love them, love them. Amazing guys. Um, amazing dog. But dishes, it is a constant battle to have them bring their dishes to the kitchen and put them at least in the sink after they get done using them, let alone just quickly rinsing them and putting them in the dishwasher that's right next to the sink. It is a constant struggle. Um, I love them, but it's a constant struggle. Um, I would say another thing, I mean, like I said, I love them, but Having to, you know, go to their rooms or to message them or tell them, being like, hey, please bring up your dishes or, you know, to, I'd like bring your plate and from the living room back into the kitchen, you know, or you got to rinse it before you, so you don't just sit there and get milk everywhere. But yeah, um, another thing I would say with living with guys is household not appliances, but household essentials. Having to remind them and keep those things in stock, like trash bags, laundry detergent, um, dishwasher pods, hand soap, um, toilet paper, paper towels. Having to, you know, be like, okay, hey, it is your turn to buy this, and we are going to need them, like, soon so let's make sure we have them so that way we don't run out because you know you don't want to run out of paper of trash bags or toilet paper you know you or laundry dirty you want so I like to say hey you are going to need that in the next day or two so let's make sure we get that um that is another thing another thing that has been a constant another con i would say is dick well, it's a pro and con, but the con part is decor. Um, 90% of the decor in the house is, well, okay, I should say, the stuff, everything else that I don't hang is, I love them. But it's very interesting decor because especially the guys I live with are geeks. So everything that is not, something I hang up is either like a gaming poster or like a gaming statue or like figurines and those kind of things so it's not my personal type of decor um which is which is what it is um you know I would say another thing We'll just get to one more con is I would say just in general um bathrooms 
Um, I cannot tell you how many times I've had to clean the toilets because of poop and people pooping and poop stains getting all in that toilet and them not cleaning it or them not cleaning because you know how guys love the toilet seat not cleaning when they miss because guys don't like to think they miss but mm, three years living with in this house guys do miss so actually cleaning the bathroom and especially the toilet It's a struggle. It's a struggle. But let's get to the pros because they are pros. Um, I live with two cousins of mine that I grew up with, two older male cousins, um, and a friend of ours, and my fiance and our dog, as I said earlier. And a big con, I mean pro, sorry, a big pro is just... They like, it's like living, exception of my fiance, living with an older, with your older brothers. Um, you know how guys have, like, it's just, it's a sense of home. Like, they're just so, guys have to be, like, so macho, you know, manly. But, like, you can tell with them, they're just, deep down in the core, they're loving and caring. And you can tell they're protective. And they're just so sweet. And she's, they're, like, my big brothers and it's just they're so kind and like especially in times of needs like and big moments like when I was in the hospital they just really pulled through and they're just like big protective brothers and they just they just help make this house a home and it's so wonderful um I am super blessed um so I feel very cared for and protected by them and I love that sense I'm just kind of like living with my big brothers um, along with that, like, living with your brothers in the male part is drama. No, none, non-existent. Like, here's drama with living with girls or, like, no, I shouldn't say because I haven't, like, lived with girls except for my own my sister. But, like, living with girls, living with guys, I feel like. But, the like, there's, like no drama like we tip about oh okay well it's your turn to buy this oh well i thought it was your turn our okay well we our vacuum cleaner broke so we need to split the cost so you know there's little tiff and arguments you know about little things but like there's like no drama like it's so refreshing like i feel like it's just such an easy living space like there's n no like Oh my goodness, you used my, you didn't use my makeup brush and you didn't clean it and put it away properly. Like, oh my gosh. Or like, are you seriously having him over again? Like, what? Like, there's no like big drama and it's so refreshing. Um, I love it. It's, it's, it's nice. Um, I would say another con, another, oh my gosh, I keep saying that. Another pro, pro, um, would be going back to that decor there is a pro because they're guys they do do that weird decor but not a lot a lot of it so i have a lot of space especially on the upper floor like the living room and kitchen to make my own they don't care um so i was able to hang a bunch of cute engagement pictures and fun little things that said like if heaven had a scent it would be coffee like make it a home and it's really fun um, because, you know, like, especially with the kitchen and living room, like, they're like, well, whatever. You know? So it is cool. And I love that. Um. It just, it's nice. Because, you know, it's like, well, I get to decorate and make it how I want. I don't have another female butting heads for, like, that kind of thing. Um. Another, I'll do my last pro, would be, again, going back to a con slash pro, because it's part con, part pro, bathroom. Um, I have a lot of bathroom space, because guys don't take up that much of the bathroom. They really don't. 
Blake is actually the one male in the family that in this house that takes up a, the most space in the bathroom with all his shaving stuff and everything. But like, I don't have other females I'm competing with, and it's nice. Like I have my drawers and my makeup brushes up there, and all my hair, my hair drawer, my you know fingernail polish drawer, like all this stuff. It's so so nice. You know, for the win. But sorry, my dog is just being a little crazy. Um, but those are some pros and cons. I thought it'd be fun to do a little updated pro and con of. Living with guys since it's been three years since I did a video on that. The only other video I did on that since I moved in. Thought it'd be a little fun, a little lighthearted and cheery, especially during this time. Um, I love you all. Thank you for tuning in. Um, please subscribe. Let me know in the comments of any future videos you'd like to see. And I love you all. Stay safe. Bye.